Through the official Northrop Grumman website, the manufacture of the Manta Ray underwater drone prototype has been completed. This drone is designed for long-term spying tasks with a longer range to reduce the direct role of the crew. Northrop Grumman released photos of the Manta Ray in Virginia on April 8, 2024, coinciding with the first day of the Navy League's Sea Air Space Conference in Maryland. The image shows the Manta Ray's glider-like design and its rounded nose. Little of its tail is visible, and its dimensions are unclear. The initial Manta Ray program was launched in 2020 by DARPA in collaboration with Northrop Grumman and Pagmar Technologies to design and build the initial version. This underwater drone can work independently and be controlled directly from manned ships and ports by carrying large loads without needing to refuel and maintain for a long time. As foreign military equipment advances in weapons, the U.S. military is increasingly enthusiastic about producing unmanned technology to operate on the battlefield. So that the Navy will contain mariners with combat equipment with hybrid capabilities, both conventional technology and artificial intelligence technology. Although the Manta Ray is still in the prototype production phase and still needs time for experimentation and mass purchasing and operation in the coming years. Manta Ray production has main considerations, namely communication capabilities, high efficiency propulsion systems, and good detection features to reduce threats to the workforce directly on duty. Northrop Grumman is a defense contractor that has a good track record in manufacturing combat equipment and was the third largest contractor in the world based on defense news analysis in 2022 with revenue of $32.4 billion that year. The dimensions of the Manta Ray prototype resemble an extra-large glider that mimics the elegant swimming style of a Manta Ray by using a rear propeller to move, and can operate long-term in marine environments inaccessible to humans for long periods. Northrop is working with Seagrek to develop energy harvesting technology that could allow the Manta Ray to operate over nearly unlimited distances with the concept of incorporating a thermal energy pod that harnesses the ocean's thermal gradient to generate electricity as additional energy for the Manta Ray. The prototype is designed to carry a variety of payloads, with a wide range of capabilities such as undersea mapping, mine detection, and passive surveillance tasks. The complexity of underwater communication and control systems requires a high degree of autonomy, which is a clear manifestation of the rapid development of artificial intelligence technology.
The manta rays deployment method has not been clarified, with options such as launching from a dock or ship being considered. The system is designed for easy transportation and on-site assembly of five standard shipping containers. The Manta Ray is not the only UUV being developed for the U.S. Navy. Previously, the U.S. Navy, which already uses various grades of UUVs, including Boeing's Orca Extra Large Unmanned Underwater Vehicle, would see its capabilities enhanced with new technology such as the Manta Ray in future maritime conflicts. This is important considering that China, which is also investing in this field, is ready to play an important role in global maritime security. Manta Ray's operational experiments are eagerly awaited to increase the U.S. Navy's maritime strength. The Manta Ray drone in collaboration with DARPA has reliable capabilities when deployed. This drone operates on an energy basis by anchoring itself to the seabed and hibernating in low power mode. Northrop Grumman's Manta Ray prototype integrates several key features to support DARPA's vision of creating strategic surprise. This includes autonomy, equipment carrying capacity to support multiple missions, energy saving functions, and modularity, meaning the design can be disassembled and reassembled. The drone can also fit into five standard shipping containers, meaning it can be transported and used anywhere in the world.